Today we continue our exploration of alternate history novels with NSR, Nationales Sicherheitsamt, written by the German science fiction author Andreas Eschbach. The title of the novel translates to NSA, National Security Agency, which should give you already an idea what kind of topics will be in the front and center of this novel. This 796 page long book was published in the year 2018 and up to now it does not seem to have any English translation, so bear that in mind. With regards to the adjusted semi-objective metrics, NSR achieves a score at the lower end of the historic plausibility scale due to the fact that the main deviation from reality in this novel is caused by Charles Babbage and Ada Lovelace successfully constructing and using the analytical engine. Thus, starting the computer and digital age not in the mid 20th century, but rather in the mid 19th century. Based on this change, Andreas Eschbach creates an alternate World War II, even though the invention of functional all-purpose computers a century earlier would have likely led to a completely different historic outcome, very likely without any of the defining conflicts of the 20th century. That aside, Andreas Eschbach takes some care to envisage how events would have unfolded with more advanced computer technology in the hands of the totalitarian NS dictatorship. The narrative world he creates and constructs is sizable and the aforementioned historic changes are interwoven creatively into the story. The situation in several major nations is described briefly, but the main focus lies on the various protagonists within Germany. In terms of originality and novelty, NSR deserves a rather high score. Not because the idea of an alternate World War II is unique, which as we have seen in the last couple of weeks, it is not, but because NSR is equally alternate history as well as a cautionary tale regarding the present and especially future of computer and digital technology, surveillance, privacy and artificial intelligence combined into a single novel, which is something that you don't see every day. The Dramatis Persone is in the middle of the range with only a few protagonists, but a sizable number of strong side characters. Regarding its critical reception, NSR has been nominated for awards twice, namely for the WDR Audience Award for the audiobook of NSR in the year 2018 and for the Kurt Laswitz Prize for a Best German Science Fiction Novel in the year 2019. NSR managed to win the latter award. NSR's popular reception is underscored with a respectable combined rating of 4.1 out of 5 stars based on thousands of reviews posted on Goodreads Library Thing and Amazon. As of now, there are no current news related to any adaptation of NSR on the big screen, series or any of the streaming services. As described earlier, the novel NSR is set in an alternative world where Charles Babbage's analytical engine was developed, leading to the creation of electric computers by the end of the 19th century. During the Kaiser era, the National Security Agency, or NSA, is established in the city of Weimar, overseeing and storing all data traffic in the so-called World Net. Obviously a reference to an internet. After Hitler's rise to power in 1933, the Nazis initially failed to recognize the potential of total surveillance provided by the world net. The central protagonists are Helene Bodenkamp and Eugen Lettke. Helene is a top programmer at the NSR and struggles with moral conflicts as her work contributes to exposing opponents of the Third Reich. Letke, on the other hand, a sadistic analyst at the NSR, has no moral qualms and abuses his position within the agency to abuse women. Meanwhile, during World War II, the NSA intensifies efforts to detect Jews through data analysis and to avoid direct supervision by the Reich security main office under Himmler. Helene, fearing for the safety of some of her loved ones, illegally alters data to protect them. 
thus placing herself in the crosshairs of the intelligence agencies of the Third Reich. Will Helene be able to avoid detection? Will Eugen's abuse of power be detected? And finally the most important question, will the war end in favor of the Allies or will the Axis be able to come out on top instead? Overall, Andreas Eschbach's novel NSR emerges as a thought-provoking allegory and cautionary tale, delving into the pervasive influence of computer technology, the internet and neural networks on both our present and especially future lives. Against the backdrop of recent strides in machine learning, neural networks and the intensification of surveillance in autocratic and totalitarian states, these themes explored in this narrative are more relevant than ever. The strength of the novel lies not only in its overarching narrative, but also in the skillful portrayal of its characters who are for the most part well written, even though characters like Eugen Lettke are obviously deranged in some way. The world building in NSR is nothing short of interesting and intricate. One example lies in the altered perceptions of professions, notably influenced by Ada Lovelace's legacy in programming. In this world, software development becomes a predominantly female-associated profession, injecting a unique dynamic into the narrative. This results in comical situations, such as Letke's covert attempts to gain a crash course in programming, driven by the fear of being perceived as effeminate in a society shaped by Lovelace's influences. NSR, unfortunately not yet translated and currently available only in German, stands as a must-read for anyone interested in imaginative alternate history or a narrative exploring the relationship between ever-advancing digital technology and human society as we know it. However, readers should approach with caution, mindful of the unexpected and somewhat unsettling nature of the novel's entire themes and especially its ultimate conclusion. Steering clear of spoilers, let us say that the ending is true dystopian fiction, especially if written by a German author, which can catch those unaccustomed to the genre off guard. If you like this video, you may also enjoy the other reviews and content on my channel. Feel free to leave a comment if you want to discuss the novels or if you want to suggest other books that I should review in the future. Please consider upvoting and subscribing, it is much appreciated. Thank you for watching and until next time.